Hey guys, I'm back. Got some new gear I wanted to share with you guys. So, here we go. First bait we're going to talk about is the Power Team Tickler. Um, what I'm going to use this bait for, where it's really going to sh show and prove, is when I'm using it for shaky head in the summertime. I never throw out this bait, so I'm curious to see how it how I perform in the water. You know, summer coming up, that grass, and it's gonna be like, the bite gets tough. So, you gotta finesse them. So, this bait will be one of the baits I would have on deck for, for shake your head and probably, I can drop shot this bait too. So, when that bite get tough, you gotta finesse the Power Team Tickler. Probably is a go-to bait I'm gonna use in the um, summertime. Next bait is up is the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. Um, you can remember me getting my butt kicked on this bait by Dave. Cool nasty strikes again. Yeah. Cool again. Perfect crawdad color. Um, yeah, this is a good bait. Imitates crawls. Um, I do well in the resi that we are fishing in. Cause this is a great bait. I seen people smoke them on them. This is a great color. So I'm hoping to do well on this bait. I do well on sweet beavers all the time. I love the sweet beavers. So in the summertime too. Looking for them big bites. The next item up is the range craw tube. This is in a black and blue flake. Um, I got them in three colors. I got green pumpkin with blue. And I have green pumpkin. So... All right, this is just a, you can see the round claws that stands up in the water. It's in a tube style bait. Um, you can see the rivets in the, the little ribs on there. Look like it'll be a great bait. I seen, I'm buying this because I see my friends Ray smoke them again in, in this. And it's in a tube style bait. Hopefully we can catch them, catch some good ones with this one. Next item I have is the Picasso Pro Metal Worm Weights. Oh, almost, I'm almost fell. Okay, reason why I got these because in New York State, you're not allowed to use lead. That's one of the reasons. And this, and it says right here. I don't know if you can tell. It says harder and more sensitive than pure lead. So. So I think it's more sensitive than lead. I haven't used this. I always use tungsten, so I wanted to give these a try. So I think I probably have the best of both worlds. And you know tungsten can really hurt a brother pocket. You feel me? You feel me, dog? You feel me? Okay. And that's the reason why I've got these. So we're going to see how they work out for me this year. So that's, so that's it for the Picasso weights. We're gonna start with the Mega Bash. We have French Pearl. We have Eerie Bone. We have GG Sexy Shad. And we have Ozark Shad. Okay. All right, it's just a ghost. French Pearl is just a Ghost talk jerk bait. And probably y'all probably wonder why he buying these jerk baits and it's about to be summertime. I always throw jerk baits. Jerk baits are always in my box. I use them. I love using them. I'm gonna continue to use them in all season long. So I use jerk baits all season long. Okay, next item we have. Eerie bone, if I can get it out the box, it's the eerie bone. What I can, what I think about this bait got a little see through purple on the top, shark suits on the belly. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna you use this in clear water, so as you can use this in clear water. I'm gonna take the bait fish pretty well, you know. 
Transparent. Yeah, that's good for that hook. That's it for that bait. We got the sexy shad. Everybody know it's a sexy shad. Nice color. Transparent. Yellow line going through it. Through the lateral line. A little dot. Purple on the top. Blue on the top. What I meant by purple. A little orange is that? Yes, that's orange on the neck of it. Right there. Um, yeah, that's it for that one. Common supports and mostly everybody with big. Black and silver, silver and black. A black and silver, as I said. Got a little red on here. Um, yeah, it's a normal jerk bait that you see in your lake. Classic color. Hmm. Another mega bass. That's it for the mega bass. Next up, we got Picasso Shock Blades. Love the Shock Blades. Love throwing Shock Blades. First one up is the Moldy Crawl. Get it. Shake it. Let me shake it out for you. Let me shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay. Okay, we should shook it out. Wake it nice and neat in my hand. And what I like, I like the blue in it. I like the green pumpkin in it. I like the head the most, the head shape, the head design, the um, the blade. Got the holes in it where water can pass through, giving it a much, much vibration in the water. Um, yeah, this is a very nice bait. Very well done. I love, I love shock blades, man. They're nice. They're nice looking. I think they made for one of the best. Weighted jig or whatever you like to call it on the market. All right, next one is the green pumpkin purple tiger. Maybe I've said that wrong. It's the green pumpkin tiger purple. That's the name of it. Okay, so the head. I like the purple on the design down there. Another nice looking shock blade. The purple up under the the belly. And on it on the head too, so this is another nice bait. Next, up, the nut, next bait up is the black. I end up losing this. This is just a rebuy. I end up losing this in Prospect Park. Go figure, right? So I just went and bought it back. Another black bait. Um, another Picasso. It's a nice bait that you throw in dirty water. Dirty to stain water to get that get that reaction bait that reaction bite when they just fly by. The silhouette shows in the water another dirty color water bait. Next we hit last up is the perch. This is a new bait they tried out. What I can say this is a great color. This is a great color. Let me shake it out. Get it all the things down. We can see. The whole design of the bait. Got a little green pumpkin, some yellow in there. I don't know what kind of color that is. Orange? Is that orange? Gotta be orange. Just a little till orange. Brown head. Um, you know. Imitate perch. Hope I can catch some big ones on this. The next item is the spinner bait, and this is with the, and this is with the Colorado blade. See, nice. And this color is brown tiger. All right. What I like to use Colorado blades is like dirty water. Um, it gives much of a thump when you work it through the water. It displays more water than a Willow leaf, then a willow leaf blade. I'm gonna throw this in choppy water, dirty stained water. Um, yeah, this is a nice color spinner bait. Hopefully, I can do well with it. Um, I got them in a few more colors. I have this one in a green, 
Swing chat. In the bling chat, that's a nice color. Bling chat. The next one is in a pearl white. That's a nice color. So that's that for the for the spinner baits. Now we're gonna talk about the buzz bait, the Picasso buzz bait, the dinner bell. <laughs> you know. When they hear this, it's time to eat. I haven't thrown buzz baits, so I really don't know too much about them. And this is all black, like somebody died. <laughs> Very funny, but hey, all black. This is the black one, as I can tell. Got the black blade, all black. It's just black, black on black. What's not better than black? Ooh, that sounds lovely. Hear that? When it hit. That's what attract the fish when the blade make contact with the with this metal piece right here. It make a louder noise, so that let them know. That's why it's called a dinner bell, and that's in black. Next one is pearl white. Another nice, nice bait. All white. With a silver blade. So that's the pearl white. The next one is Gizzard. The Gizzard Shad. Got the red blade. Probably well, symbolize that is bleeding. Another nice color. And last but not least, it's the Fire Titan with the gold blade. Nice color. That's some. Nothing I can say about it, but hey, good colors. Ready to go fishing with them. I haven't used buzz baits. This will be my first time using them. Hope to catch some big birthdays on them. Um, anyway, you can find everything that you see in this description below. Please like, share this video. Cole Outdoors, thanks for watching. We out.